Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 15, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are up just a bit today. We're up at uh, 4,376 at this current stage. And at the moment, it looks like we are going to pull back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, roughly at 4,300. If that breaks, then we have the 50 moving average down here at 4,235, and then the bottom of the Bollinger Band right here. So if you look at technical indicators, you can see the MACD is still bullish, the RS stochastic is becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat. So if we were to rally from here, then we'll most likely run into resistant around 4,400. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones has gone back and forward. We can see that we were all the way up at uh, 35,000 and then we dropped a little bit. Now we're at 35,933 and we a pullback could be expected and we will most likely find major support down here at the middle of the bullish band, roughly at the 30, uh, 34,400 give or take. If that basically breaks, then we are probably looking at a much bigger drop towards the bottom of the bullish band. You can see the MACD is still very bullish. The stochastic has crossed the signal line, becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat. Momentum kind of is... We have been rallying for quite some time, but recently the, the momentum looks like it has a stall around here, but we're still in an uptrend. Pullbacks will mostly be highly bought into around this area here. If this were to break, then we may drop towards the bottom of the bullish band yet again. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So Nasdaq has also gone back and forward, but has pulled back quite aggressively. So we did that yesterday. We did that the same uh, today. And at the moment, it kind of looks like it's running into um, exhaustion. Some of the big tech companies like Apple had a really nice day today and uh, are expected to, to pull back. And, and most of them are highly uh, overstretched and overbought and Therefore, a pullback towards the support here around uh, 13,500, give or take, that could be expected in the next uh, few trading days. If this breaks, then we could see a bigger drop down towards around 14,000. If you look at the weekly chart, then we can basically see that we are overbought in the weekly chart and we are very, very overstretched. We have had a massive run since down here at 12,500 all the way up towards now. So we have nine consecutive weeks where this has basically rallied. And at this point, a pullback, we're getting fairly overstretched here and the pullback could be expected. So the previous highs here, roughly 14,000. If that basically breaks, then we could go all the way down to the bottom of the middle of the bullish band. That's at 13,750. And um, that is probably as far as we will drop if it falls to that point. So, yes, we're getting very overstretched. If we were to rally, then uh, 15,500 um, it will mostly be the target. We're still in an uptrend and uh, pullbacks will uh, be highly bought into, most likely. So, let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX um, rallied significantly the last two days and then pulled back yesterday and today we have been, just been all over the place. So trading at 15,778 and uh, target here will mostly be 16,000. But it looks like it is going to roll over first before going higher. If we break below these candlesticks, then we are probably going towards 15,000, probably 200 moving average. It's... Uh, is kind of flattening out. So the momentum that we saw here, that is not visible at this stage. So we're kind of just going sideways and we have been doing that the last few weeks. So we may fall back towards the support, which is roughly at 15,300, 400 in that area. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish and the sarcastic is bullish and the RSI is flat. So UK FTSE. So UK FTSE has uh, much more bearish, but is finding support at the 50 moving average. So bottom of the market should be 7,000, 
your take that is where we have found the massive support in the past break below that then we could drop all the way down to 6750 and the 200 moving average down here at 6634 Technical indicators are much more bearish for the FTSE than they are for for the for the DAX. So we may see this pull back towards the seven thousand a break about this candlestick here, uh, roughly seven thousand one hundred and fifty. That will most likely lead to seven thousand and two hundred. So let's look at the China fifty. So China fifty is just getting hammered constantly so chinese stocks uh, in, in general are uh, falling off a cliff so yes meddling in the markets that doesn't really work so uh, at this current stage 300 moving average is holding we have tested it two times break below that then 16,000 comes into play and probably also 15,000 we have to go and look at the previous major resistance back here that's around 15,000 so a massive drop off if we if that is the case we are very overstretched here we're at the bottom of the bullish band right at the 300 moving average and we're also fairly low in the rsi our uh, technical indicators otherwise are very bearish but a pullback or rally towards the 20 exponential that could be expected up towards 17,000. but break below here then that opens the door to much lower levels so, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.